Morning to you. Did a little video a little while ago about uh, train service. Got another one. Of course you do. Why me bloody watch though? But put me bag on this morning. Bloody straps, bloody broke. Look, it's no good, is it? Pain in the ass. So yeah, I'm not going to go in depth with the service today because you've seen it before, but we'll have a little look, see what's going on. We'll walk outside in a minute. Um, I don't think they'll be able to walk the jib because it's very windy today. I can only walk it from 30 miles an hour. I'm in the canteen at the moment. Canteen people. My Belinda. It's a canteen mob, look. It's too crowded in here, I don't like it. So, it's near the end of the job. There's all these people. I'm going to escape. Good morning. Where's this select crew? Here. Yeah, look, the motley crew. Right, we're on the tower now. I wanted to film on the ground. I want to put head cam on, but I'm too stupid. I can't get it on my helmet. So uh, I'm on climbing with Andy. Say hello, Andy. Good morning. <laughs> How we doing? Oh, I'm all right, mate. Yeah. <laughs> so he does his little checks. Do on the bolts, look. Just a little fucking twiddle. We check the bolts, tap the bolts, tap the them. Electric cables. Yeah. Check the pins. Yeah. Check the tower mast, the cracks. Got to line these, line these lines up on the bolts yeah, and must, all. They must match up. And all that. How do you get round the other side? Do the other ones then. Put your hands around the back. Have a little have feel a feel, up. Have a tap. Lovely. Jobs are good. Check the ladder sections. Yeah. Make sure there's no cracks, fractures, or the loose. Yeah. So a miserable, windy, okay. wet day today, isn't it? Yeah. But it's Probably. not cold. We're not even halfway up yet, probably just about halfway. And he's fucked. I'm just making sure that these are <laughs> stable. <laughs> he's lying, bastard, he's blowing out of his arsehole. <laughs> That's what you get for smoking and eating bacon rolls every morning. Right, I'm up here now. Still waiting for him. Late. Doing his spraying down here, actually. Spraying the gears, lubricating. Tough gear spray, it's called. <sighs> Never get used to that climb, I tell you. Oh, yeah, he's just got to fix my handle quickly. If you can see, my handle on the uh, window's broken. Just got to put a split pin in that. It's got all the gear, some idea. No. Got a split pin? Yeah. Good man. I'm gonna mess my cab up now. Footprints everywhere, grease everywhere. Nah, that's alright. Okay, I'm in the cab now. I'm on the seat, more comfortable. Got the heater on. It's absolutely chucking it down out there. Horrible weather. Although it's not cold. Um, so I've just jibbed up to minimum radius. Uh, to check the limits, to check the jib limit switch, and then jibbing out now in two because you've got to check the luffing rope. I've explained all this before. If you watched the previous video, you, you'll know all this. I'm going to keep this very short, really, because um, you've seen it all before, but you know you want to, you know, want a little bit more action. But I just won't go in depth. So you've got to check the luffing rope as I jib out, it releases the luffing rope off the drum. And he, he checks all the threads and everything, runs his string along it, make sure there's no thread sticking out. You allow the couple, I think it's, I might even say it on it, I mean, sometimes says it on, in the cab. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Uh, accumulation of wire brakes is defined in the discard criteria table, numbers of visible wire brakes. No, I think it's like five threads off of each uh, five strands off of each thread if that makes sense 
yeah, five strands on, on one strip, one one thread, then you have to condemn it, I think. So I'm gonna give out to maximum radius. Oh, I've got a turn me the uh, zoning off, I think. Uh, jib out to maximum radius so they can walk the jib. I'll probably film that. Got five more meters left and dry. And they're out there walking on a piece of metal. Although they're harnessed up, so you know, if they fall, they'll just be swinging around a little bit, dangling down. Have the full rest harness. It's just got like a bungee. It's not like a um, not like a normal harness where it, you will snag. Well, in effect, you you will shock load, so you you fall and you go dong. But this one, you falls a little bit and it's like bungee, so you got it absorbs the shock and you just just bounce a little bit. Got the other crane, so they're doing both cranes today together. It's giving me a radio, handy pandy. Both both cranes are jibbing out together. I'll show you the screen in a minute show the other jib as well. I don't think you'll be able to see too much from the front cam because all the rain in the window. Uh, is that me? There's some noises up there. Yeah that's it. So the brakes. Oh. There's some buttons. Right, Let's set the other camera up. There he goes, uh, off he goes, on his, on his merry old way. Lunatics going out in this weather. Horrible, horrible rain. Just got to sit all my gear up. Won't do a minute. Yeah, I tried to get a bloody head cam thing on, my helmet, my hard hat earlier, but I'm a bit thick. I couldn't get it on there. I'm not up to date with all this stuff. I'll get there one day. But, rain on the windows. Ooh. Horrible day. There's a um, crane, look. CC1, John Boy's up there. He's jibbed out. Oh look, Womick's up there. Oh Womick. Oh. 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 Get back in here. Uh. Up there, having a little chat with each other. Sort of that. Can you imagine? Oh, you can see that on the front cam anyway. Oh. Don't know if you can hear it, the rain lashing down on the window. So he's up on the um, A-frame now. The big A-frame thing that's on top of the back jib there. It's just asked me to go up to my parking radius, which is 17 meters. That's the radius that we park up at at the evening when we put the crane into free salute. We take the crane out of service, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I'm assuming we're gonna check that in a minute check the free slew, make sure it blows around nicely, which it will do today, because it's a little bit breezy, I shall tell you. Almost there, 23, got to keep an eye on my monitor, slow down a little bit. He's well knackered now, he's blown right out of his arsehole. Climbed all the way up there, he's had to climb all the way onto the jib with all his gear on, climb all the way up on the A-frame. Can't be easy for him. 18, 19, 19 meters, 18, Slow it down, slow it down, there we go, done. He's going to talk to me. No. Um, yeah, so he's got all the, all, obviously he's got all that weight on, hasn't he? So he's got his, all his torque. I don't know if he's took his torque out there, I imagine he has. But he has to have all the grease gun, all his harnesses and everything on, and all the lanyards and all the rest of it. So, um, I mean, he's lucky he didn't, sometimes when they have to bring a big bag of tools, so they have a big, big waterproof duffel bag and have it on a rope 
So they uh, climb up a section and they have to pull it up, climb up again, they have to pull it up. Imagine doing that. It's all right on this, on, on this job because one crane can just pass it to the other, but in a couple of weeks, this crane's gonna be gone, um, all being well. So then they'd have to carry it up 100 meters. Although saying that, sometimes they, um, they get the crane to lift it up to itself. So that if you stick a long tagline on and put a bag on, and you go up to minimum radius, face the wind. So the wind blows the bag and the tagline towards the cab or towards it. They'll be out there on the on the slewing, blows it towards. Obviously, you have to hoist up first to a sort of cab height. Blows it towards them, and then you grab hold of it, pull it in, and then I hoist down while they're pulling it in. Grab hold of the bag. Job done. If you're good enough, that is. I don't know what's happening now. Okay, I am now in free slew. I've had to notify John next door because um, because he's quite close to me at the moment. The free slew's round, and I then I spin round with the wind. We could collide, and also, um, well, that's it really. Yeah. So if you look, there's me uh, Smee screen. So he's all the way out there. <coughs> if he was to slew round, not that he would. He wouldn't, but you know, you never know. And I, if I spun round that way, then we would collide. So I've had to notify him the time in free slew. Crane is off. This is a good chance to just chill out now when they're doing these bits and pieces. Do whatever. Watch, him, uh, watch, watch videos, watch YouTube, or check emails, or whatever. Just uh, while we're sitting about here doing nothing. Yeah, it's great. So it's just checking the hoist right now, to hoisting down in two. Um, just like with the luffing rope, is next to the, the, the hoist drum. It's probably spraying it as well as the, as the rope's leaving the, the drum, lubricating it. I hope it is anyway, it should do. Uh, so this is a slow process, so literally hoist down in second speed, which is a slow speed, it takes ages. Imagine that I'm 100 meters up, and then you've got the jib right up, I'm at minimum radius pretty much, so it's right up as high as it'll go. Got another 45 meters on the jib, so roughly 145 meters to go down at a slow speed. Have to have someone down the bottom uh, just to make sure nobody's near the hook block when it goes down, and then when the hook block's down there, and you'll go down, check the hook block, grease it up, make sure it's, um, the hook's spinning right, and all the rest of it. And that's it, job done. This is a much much shorter video than the last one. Last one, last crane service one was much more involved. It's the first one I did. But this is a brief one. So I know you love all this stuff. Can't get enough of it, can you? The hook is just below cab level at the moment. I actually can probably jib up. Uh, give myself a bit more. Do I want to? Yeah, I don't know if I can be bothered, really. No, yeah, I will do actually. I'll give up a little bit, give myself some more height. And also to get it in a safe area. So that's it. That is it. Crane service number two of construction togs. Hope you enjoyed it. There'll be more stuff to come. Just hang around, yeah, like, like and subscribe this shit, you know you want to. If there's any, oh, just quickly, if there's anyone out there who works on um, on the rigs, any crane drivers, because um, obviously from, from, your, from your website, I write about the lifting industry. Um, being a tail crane driver, I know a lot about tail cranes, so but with regard to other categories, I have to, uh, sorry, I'm just keeping an eye on my screen there to check me distance. I have to, I have to, although I know a little bit, I prefer to speak to people who do the, do the work so that I can get info and get content, to write content on that. So if there are anyone, if there is anyone out there who writes, who, uh, who works on the rigs, on the cranes, get in touch with me. I'd like to get information from you. 
uh, so we can get some content on there on that also any you know crawler crawler drivers or anything any any um yeah if there's any like special type of crane that you drive it's out of the ordinary get in touch with me that'd be that'd be really appreciative can't pay you though i just want information from you just want to pick your brains well, i might pay you a little bit i don't know we'll see how it goes but uh yeah cheers for that peoples See you next time.